Go ahead, thanks. Uh, uh, you've said a lot of times that you want this team to win ugly. Uh, what did you make of that win for your team? Well, like, very, very good win in the fact that we just found a way. Uh, we weren't doing that with the competitive spirit that we've shown the last couple games in the early stages of the season. Um, but over the last couple of weeks, we're really progressing nicely. Um, now we're seeing the results on the scoreboard. What do you make of the growth of your team that they can come into a building like this against a team that's performing so well and win this sort of game with the defensive performance that you, that you put forward, considering that's been an issue early in the season? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not a number cruncher, but I would say over the last month, it's our defense that's been pretty good. It's our offense that's been struggling a little bit. Uh, I thought we've done a really good job of holding teams to winnable totals. Uh, now we're starting to click a little bit better offensively. So then we play defense with a little more zest like most players do. Uh, what sorts of things have you gotten out of Christian since he's come in? It seems like his role has grown a little bit and you're putting him in different areas yep. to succeed. It looked like it was really aggressive tonight. What have you made of how you can use him in different ways to succeed? Yeah, look, his, his skill set lends to us uh, being very versatile with him on the floor uh, at both ends with his skill set, um, very switchable at the defensive end. And then at the offensive end, he has perimeter game, but we can post him up when they want to put a smaller guy. Uh, and then just his IQ and his smarts for what's going on out there is at a high level. Christian, you looked as comfortable as you have since you got here. Um, is, is that how it felt out there tonight? Definitely. Um, but I feel like it was more so just the flow of the game. Um, you know, as as he talked about, I was able to uh, utilize my matchup tonight. Um, you know, since we switched the lineup, we've uh, been able to punish smaller teams. Um, so make them adjust to us rather than rather us adjusting to them. Um, and I was just able to, you know, come in for my team tonight. What was the immediate sort of feeling with the group after a gritty win like that? Oh, we happy as hell. Uh, excuse my language. Yeah, right. just my trust me, the last time I was in this room, <laughs> uh, I praised our team, but I used a bad word uh, and it cost me some money. Uh, so I don't have yeah, yeah. I don't have that list yeah. with me, so I don't know yeah. where that sits yeah. in the vernacular of no, all. We, we happy as heck, um, yeah. you know, coming, there you you know, go. being able to win our last game and quick turnaround coming to this game. Um, so just being able to show resiliency, uh, especially not winning the game and, you know, regulation, but still being able to come together and win in overtime. Uh, just shows a testament to how how far we've come. What's the emotional roller coaster for you guys? You know, especially at the end of regulation, where Jordan hits that shot, and they come back and misses the free throws, knowing that you have to go into overtime on the road. It's a late game. How did you guys find, you know, that extra burst of energy to to finish a game and you know take down a team that's you know first in the league? Uh, I felt like it just came from our leaders on the team, and it trickled down. You know, Wags and uh, Bryce, you know, um, you know, telling us that we're going to be okay. Obviously, you know, in perfect world, Ush makes the free throws, but you know, still got to play, um, still got to come out and execute. And um, you know, we were able to punch them in the mouth at the beginning of the overtime and kind of set the tone going forward. So we never really had to play from behind, um, and so we had the momentum going forward. So that changes everything, when, especially playing on the road. You know, it's. You know, it's kind of a cliche that once you you, you got to win in regulation, otherwise the home team usually wins these type of games. But uh, we were able to come out with the W. Yeah, uh, Ash had sort of a, a journey of a game, ups and downs. Uh, what's it like coaching him through those ups and downs and finding ways to zone in on his energy and make sure it's directed in the right place? Yeah, look, what, what I would say is when uh, – he doesn't start the game off in the way that he would like. Uh, he's shown already in multiple games, like second halves, just bouncing back. Um, and, and usually that happens at the defensive end where he creates some energy or at the offensive end he might make a great pass or get an offensive rebound. So uh, he understands like who he is as a player and as a person. So uh, he, he recalibrates pretty quickly. Jay, I've been a tough couple of weeks with the you know, passionate Red Army. Can you give us a bit of an insight about how you've kind of dealt with things personally with the you know, kind of roller coaster, I guess, a couple of weeks? Very easy to answer. I only care about how our team plays. Everyone can have their opinion, but Stevie Wonder saw that we weren't playing good. Did you have your own frustrations with the way things were playing, you know, I guess? No. no? I, I've been in this game for a while now. That pains me to say that, but... Um, okay. I've been through the roller coaster before, and if you truly believe what you're about and you believe in your team, it usually works itself out. 
what does this what, what does this weekend of you know back to back wins mean? It's a pretty season defining couple of games, isn't it? Well, it is if we move forward in a positive direction. Uh, like, we need to celebrate and appreciate what we did this week. Um, but we also go back home to play a team that will be hungry for a win themselves. So uh, we can't relax. Christian, uh, what's it like playing with Alex? I, I feel like if you dig into the defensive numbers from this game, they'd be pretty good with you two on the floor together. What's it like sharing the floor with him? Um, it's, you know, he's another versatile player, and so it makes it a defensive you know, mismatch for other teams that we go up against, or offensive mismatch, I would say. You know, a lot of sometimes when I'm guarding the guard, they set a screen between us, um, so, you know, they're going to get a different coverage usually from what they would get from, you know, any other team that they would play. We're able to switch. He's able to move his feet and guard and contest shots at the rim. Um, you know, he got some foul calls late on him, but, you know, his presence is definitely felt from another team, and so it changes a lot for us. Different rotations, not as much Ty Webster, not as much Corey Webster. Um, a lot more Christian at the three. And is that the sort of stuff playing with those rotations that you sort of worked on going into this round? Uh, no, like once we get into the game, I see how the game's going. Like Ty Webster got us off to a great start with the momentum he created. Second half, same thing. So he brings a different look with our roster when he plays that way, and I want him to be super aggressive. Um, and then, you know, look, we got every roster is full of guys that want to play. I'd be disappointed if my guys didn't want to play. Now, you know what? Those guys will get their opportunity at some stage, you know, and that's the beauty of having a roster like ours. Is everyone will get an opportunity. David Quera hasn't played for a while. He came in tonight and gave us great minutes, you know. But the, that's the thing is, I guess, to partake in his question, is people don't understand the work that these guys put in. So if you're putting in the work, you're going to get rewarded. But it's always a test when you're at the bottom of the mountain. Can you come up every day and do that work? And those guys, they showed up every day and put in work. Days off, they're doing work. So I believe that that'll pay off in the end. Coach, just real quick, I mean, the last time I saw you was in Vegas uh -huh. with Alex, you know, playing first two games preseason. And you talked about how special he was. Just quickly touch on his growth. I mean, I, yeah. I noticed like in the first half, his minutes were a little limited, but then he played much more, was way more productive in the second half. Just where have you seen the most growth in his game and, um, and how he's adjusting, especially to the physicality of the NBL? That, that's the one thing the NBL will test you with is the physicality. So his ability to play through that for stretches with a great competitive edge about himself. I would say that's where he's made the growth, best growth from day one that he's been here. Just being able to compete, you look at those G League Ignite games, he's playing against 18-year-olds. Right. He comes here, he's playing against some dudes that have a lot of pride in their performance. And so, much older. Correct, yes. yeah. So, uh, it's been a hot topic pretty much this entire round, the refereeing consistency. How have you seen it? As I said, I was fine the last time I was in this room. <laughs> How happy are you with the offensive rebounding? Um, something which in recent rounds you haven't been quite on top of, but this round you've had two back-to-back -back games where you've beaten the opposition in offensive yeah. rebounding, in particular Melbourne United, who are a great offensive rebounding team. Yeah, look, that just feeds into the winning ugly situation, and now like we're generating some great looks out of that. But then... When you're not playing great offensively, you've got to find ways. And that's been a way for us to get some good looks, but just create energy about the way that we play at that end of the floor. So, um, you know, the adjustment to the lineup certainly helped that. Um, but then it, anything in, in sport is contagious. When you see your teammate doing a great job, all of a sudden you give a little bit more effort. And that's what we did this week. We backed ourselves, we backed our teammates, and you saw the results. Keanu's face okay? Because it looked like a really I couldn't tell he was had that that mask on. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know. I'm not a medical guy and the coach. Yep. Kristen, um, your captain Chris uh, Jesse Braidstar had an awesome game. What have you learned from him and his leadership? Um what about learn from him? Yeah. I guess talk more. Uh, I mean, that's that's what Jesse's role on the team is. He's he's a you know our vocal leader, our coach that's has on a jersey, 
Um, tonight he was able to, you know, help us out whenever we were in foul trouble. Um, you know, his experience showed down the end, uh, especially, you know, late game whenever they were starting to trap and pressure us full court. You know, the ball was in our hands and we have the utmost confidence in him. Um, I guess one thing I learned from him is to stay poised. Um, no, no, no matter how big the moment is, you know, stay under control. And, I mean, I guess that's it. Any sling? Hmm? Any sling? Uh, nah. No. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Yep, yeah, no worries.